Ernest Finney realized at an early age he wanted to pursue a legal career. His father, Dr. Ernest Finney, instilled in him the importance of a good education. Newly appointed as Dean of Claflin College, Dr. Finney moved his family from Washington, D.C. to Orangeburg when Ernest was 12. I have never regretted my move to South Carolina. The people of this state have uh, been extremely generous in their support and in their uh, ability to do what we need to be done. In 1954, Ernest graduated from the South Carolina State University School of Law. Finney gained a reputation as an outstanding defense lawyer and civil rights advocate. He defended more than 6,000 clients who had been arrested for taking part in sit-ins, freedom rides, and demonstrations. In 1972, Finney was elected to the South Carolina House. He became the first African American on the powerful Judiciary Committee and a co-founder of the Legislative Black Caucus. In 1985, Finney was appointed an Associate Justice of the South Carolina Supreme Court. And in 1994, he became the first African American Chief Justice. America is the greatest country in the world. It is a system that can work but we got to work together. What you achieve is determined to a large part by what you're willing to contribute.